Let's take a look at the 1954 definitive set of stamps from the KUT, featuring Queen Elizabeth II on the front. For those of you not familiar with the acronym KUT, it stands for Kenya, Uganda and Tanganyika, three countries making up British East Africa at the time. And to further complicate things, Tanganyika is now known as Tanzania. But for this video, we're going to stick with Tanganyika. Right, we've got 14 stamps here, which start with the 5 cent and run all the way through to the one pound value here. The Queen's portrait appears on each and for the mainstay, she is facing left, except on the one pound value. They were printed by Delarue and are all in used condition. As we take a look at each stamp individually, you'll notice that the three countries' names will be listed on the stamps in varying orders. Well, let's start in numerical order with the five cent stamp. Along the top and bottom, we have Uganda, Kenya and Tanganyika. The Queen's portrait has this cameo-like effect. The denomination either side of that and the pictorial design shows the Owen Falls Dam, now known as Nalu Bali Power Station in Uganda, which opened in 1954 and supplies electricity to parts of Uganda, Kenya and Tanganyika or Tanzania. The 10 cent stamp shows a giraffe eating the leaves of probably an acacia tree. Google has reliably informed me that these are their favourite, so let's go with that. The 15 cent stamp has this lovely design showing two African elephants. Also, notice how the names of each of the countries change order as we go through the stamps. We now have Kenya, Uganda, Tanganyika. The 20 cent shows this orange and black stamp featuring a lion staring directly at us. Not a situation I'd ever want to find myself in. On to the 30 cent stamp now, which has the exact same design as the 5 cent, only this one is in blue. There are rare versions of this particular stamp that do exist, which feature the inverted image of the dam. And if you have one of those inverts, then they are worth £27,000. So look out for that particular invert on this stamp. The 40 cent stamp is the same as the 20, only a different colour. And when we move on to the 50 cent stamp, you'll see that it replicates the 10 cent design, but again with a different colour. Once we get to the 65 cent stamp, that's when we have a new design featuring a landscape scene showing Mount Kilimanjaro in the distance. Moving on to four of the higher value stamps now, and we can see the repetition of those designs from the earlier stamps that we looked at. The lion on the one shilling, which also featured on the 20 cent and 40 cent stamp. The elephant design on the one shilling and 30 and the five shilling stamp, which also featured on the 15 cent stamp and the two shilling stamp features Mount Kilimanjaro which we just saw on the 65 cent stamp. The 10 shilling stamp has a different design all to itself showing the Royal Lodge otherwise known as Sagana Lodge nestled in the foothills of Mount Kenya and it was at this lodge that Princess Elizabeth was told that her father had died and she was the new heir to the British throne. And then finally we come to the one pound stamp which is unique in this set as it only featured the Queen with no other fauna or flora in the background. And that completes this set of definitives. Or does it? The eagle-eyed collectors amongst you might have noticed that I have this 15 cent stamp without the dot You'll notice that the lower values all have the dot underneath the denomination. Under the C there, there's a dot, dot there, 
dot there, and a dot under the C, just there. This 15 cent doesn't. I still need to buy the one with the dot to complete the set. OK, that's this one wrapped up. If you've enjoyed the video, then please subscribe to the channel for more content. Give it a thumbs up and do turn on that notification bell. So until the next one, bye for now.